Another 1-2 to Erger, lifts it in the air, left field toward the line. Ian Uzi, who was shaded into left center, long way to go, and it clears the fence just inside the foul pole. A solo homer for Carson Erger ties the game here on the bottom of the first. Full windup, a one pitch, ground ball left side. Backhand it stopped by Shope, throw to first base, out number three. Jake Shope comes up with a clutch play to end the top of the third inning. And then Germany against Washington County. Fly ball hit well the opposite way to right field. Off the top of the wall, home run. Three run homer for Darren Stanford in the fourth inning. And Chesterfield, Virginia leads four to one. Breaks up. And the pitch to Chambers. He lines one the opposite way. The left handed batter goes to the gap in left center field. The ball will roll to the edge of the warning track. On his way to third is Waite. He's being waved around the relay from the shortstop. Shope not coming. Shope holds on to it. It's a double for Chambers. It drives in Waite. And it is 5 1 Chesterfield. Get effect until the losing team bats in the fifth inning. Fly ball to right field. Carrying well. That ball, no doubt about it. It's gone. Mark Marino, it's a three-run homer in the bottom of the fourth inning. Johnstown answer? I should say so. Now it's a 7-4 ball game with nobody out in the bottom of the fourth. 2-0 pitch at ball, drilled to center field. Supinick goes back, looks up, it's gone right over the 3-0-5 mark in straightaway center field. Two-run homer for Ty Garner, and it is 10-4 for Chesterfield, Virginia.